trial.com slash talk it out. Sign up for a free 30-day trial and a free audio book download. Sign up now, audibletrial.com slash talk it out. This is KT. This is Gabby. And this is Joy. And we're talking out. Talking out. Okay. Um, today we're talking about stereotypes and women in the church or in religion. So, women. Let's c- first stereotype that these are what these are the stereotypes I thought about. Okay, so the first stereotypes about religion and women that I thought about was women being temptress or teases. Mm-hmm. So, my question is, okay, so you know how in Christianity Eve tempted Adam in the Garden of Eden, right? And so Eve tempted Adam or coerced, whatever you want to say, in the Garden of Eden, even after God says not to eat the apple. So that's basically saying that women are easily swayed because hold on now. Let me pull it out because I missed my point. Mm. The serpent told Eve that she can eat the apple. But God said, if you eat this apple, you shall surely die. The yes. serpent said, you shall surely not die. Mm-hmm. So he changed one word and everything goes to a hand basket. But Eve, what it's saying about women is that we are easily swayed to do the wrong thing. Even though somebody told us we're not supposed to. Mm-hmm. And that we are... um manipulative because here's what she does she goes and she gives the apple to adam and after he says oh no we 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 shouldn't do this she talks him into doing it Mm -hmm. so what one of the um stereotypes i found was that women are temptress because of this and that women are manipulative Mm -hmm. do you or do you not what are your thoughts um, well, I think it is a, a theme in the Bible that you sometimes find. Um, I can't remember what verse, but it was talking about the, the strange woman in the Bible. And it was talking about, like, she will tempt you, uh, pretty mm-hmm. much saying, like, she's coming to deceive you or whatever, to lure you out to your home. She was, so it was pretty much a metaphor for adultery and... Um, like you it's know, all on a woman. Yeah. So, yeah, she was the metaphor for adultery, the strange woman. And I think, yeah, I, that, that's fair. I think that's a, a common theme that uh, can be found. Like even... Um, Especially in Christianity. Yeah. Because even if you go to Joseph, when he was working at Potiphar's house, and Potiphar's wife was trying to get Joseph to sleep with her, mm-hmm. and she, you know, he didn't want to do it, so then she lied on him, got him thrown in jail... No, that, that that's a theme you you sometimes find in there, and there's plenty of more other verses. Okay, so what about you? Yeah, that's but the- that's not like one of the like I don't. I mean, yeah, that's that's definitely true. Like what you guys are saying is definitely true. But I see Christianity a lot more about like um, how women are supposed to sit in the house and take care of the kids. Well, we gonna like, get to that. But all that's the things. Of those, you know, like. Believe like, I don't, we're I don't know. To that. Like I said, I don't know anything about that, so I can't just comment on it and be like, yeah, I totally agree, you okay, know? but uh, as far as Adam and Eve, that's a pretty well-known Let's story. Let's just go to Adam and Eve, yeah. As, as, as far, far as Adam, Adam and Eve, Eve yeah, that, that does she... seem kind of like, I mean, uh, I don't know, I never really thought of it that way, so I kind of feel like it's reaching, but at the same time, like, I understand what you're saying. I well, I is. mean, I didn't think of it that way. At all. Uh, like, yeah, I never but, thought of it that but way. But hear, hear me out now. When we're, when I'm at church or mm-hmm. when I'm around people, even if they don't believe in God, like, okay, one of my friends, she's an atheist, but mm-hmm. she gets cramps like every other girl. And she says, <laughs> the most b- bizarre thing she says is, oh, I hate Eve. Mm-hmm. Like, because she's cramping. And I say that too sometimes. I mean, I'm joking, but I'm kind of not joking. But anyway, uh-huh. <laughs> but she says that and she says it in a joking manner. But we are, but most people blame Eve for the sin in the world because when they ate the apple, yeah. they brought sin to the world according to religion. That is very right. ironic if she's an atheist, then. 
But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Even even yeah. in even people who don't believe in the Bible or God or whatever, they are influenced by religion. Yes, and true. so if we're going to blame everything on Eve and how she brought sin to the world, I have a question for you. But wait, here's here's the thing actually. People blame Eve, but you can blame Eve for like the the punishment that was brought onto woman like the cramping and the childbirth and stuff like that. But actually the Bible says that sin came in through the world through Adam. So when Eve sinned, nothing happened. The the God came after Adam ate the the fruit and then he was mad at him because he gave direct orders to Adam not to do it. So we're blaming okay, Eve but for it. Exactly. But that was that's my not question. even how it yeah, I how think the story goes. Yeah. yeah, how come it like through the church? I've noticed like the man is always the head, and I'm sorry, I don't mean to take over your questions. No, or no, whatever, you're jumping. But We're gonna get to this. Like, please how hold come? It. Please the, hold it. Well, hold she it. went from <laughs> she went. She said that he went directly to Adam, and that just thought like, yeah, how come it goes directly <laughs> through the man? Like, how come the man is the the main person of the church? Like, who said God is some type of is a man? Who says God is a man? Why isn't God a well, woman? Well, because Mary bore a son. You talking mm-hmm. about God the Father? Well, well, well I'm talking about Jesus. Well, yeah. we know Jesus was a Jesus man. was a son. Yeah, but and I'm talking about who says God themselves is not a man. I mean, is yeah, is not a man. I think who it's, says I think it's man? Him. Oh my God, we're so off subject. I'm sorry. I just, I, <laughs> I just feel like it plays. I feel like it I plays into the gender roles because, because we look up to, like, as a gen, as a like as a woman, like I feel like I'm being, and this sounds crazy, but I feel like I'm kind of being oppressed because, like, we look up to God so much, and like God is this holy man, not a holy woman, and like everyone bases everything off of the man, the man, the man, the man, the man, because you're supposed to be like God. So God created everyone in His image, mm-hmm. but you we know are, we're woman, but we're I like I don't want to be that. Like I'm trying to say, like I want us to all be equal, not. I just have oh, to look okay. up to a man and stuff like that. I just hit, I just hit myself in the face with Mike. But please yeah. hold on, I'm almost there. Wait, y'all. are we getting to that part? Are we, are we are, gonna talk about God because I'm a woman or man? Because I really oh, wanna. I, okay, I have one oh point because I always. This well, no, is we go, we go off, but we can go. This back. is important. It's about gender. But here's the thing. Oh, this is what God. I didn't understand. Like even as a child growing up, I'd be like, okay, why is God or how is God a man? Like, like who because said that? in biology. Your chromosomes or whatever determine your maleness or femaleness, right? And what? Why does God need sex organs? organs? Why? God yeah. need, he doesn't need sex organs because he didn't create Adam that way. He just got Adam from the dirt. And and apparently, when when Eve, I mean, when Mary became pregnant, he just bore his spirit into. So who is saying? Like who said? I'm hey, this is a man. Me. I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt you, but like I, that's so. She's true. so passionate. That's so me, true. That's so true to let me. Let me finish my. my Go ahead. <laughs> Edit out. Because, okay, so if there are no like this, let's just say human beings tomorrow there are no sex organs. Uh, there's no reproductive anything. Then how are we gonna know if if that's uh? a cis man or a cis woman or whatever. So if God has none of these things, why are we classifying God as a he? Because when Jesus walked the earth, he said his father, he never mentioned, because we know who his mother was, Mary. Mary. Uh huh. But when he told the people and he preached to the people, he said he is doing this for his his father sent him down here for this specific purpose. But I'm saying That's why? What he said. How is how is God a, a why is God a father and not a mother? Or right. Why is God a, a father or a mother? Why is he even gendered? Yeah. Why is he if, even gendered? If God is because an all powerful spirit, being, he is. Then he shouldn't why, have a penis I mean, or what, vagina. What, what makes I don't what would that, determine him he being? Who said he had a a penis or a vagina because that's what I'm saying. That's that. the only that's way what we're saying. Can, because yeah. I'm saying who did who who decided? Okay, God. We even thought about God in that way. He, we're gonna use he he pronouns for God because God Jesus 
No, but even before Jesus even came, I'm talking about like in the Old Testament. But that's like, what I'm who, saying. When people were writing the Bible, uh-huh. they when said. People, let's, let's, it's not just people. It was men. It was when, not the, women. When, when Jesus' 12 apostles wrote the Bible, it was said that Jesus was speaking on behalf of his I'm father. I'm talking about the Old Testament. Let's talk about the Old Testament. For, for right now like, like when it first Jesus started like Jesus genesis so, okay so like maybe Noah and Moses here's now. the theory here's the theory okay. a bunch of people living on earth but where men are dominating okay that's fine and they don't know anything about religion except what they think so they uh-huh. made man they made man the ideal person therefore which god. is sexist therefore god mm-hmm. but to be truthful if people were here on earth already, how did they come about? Because God had to make them, right? So therefore, he was already here on earth. Okay. Therefore, his story was already there. But I don't think you're following what we're saying, kind I'm, of. I'm saying, we're like, s- because as far as language goes. We're not talking like, about God, who Like, we already whoever. know, like, in the Bible or whatever. Yeah. Like, God has this name that isn't, like, you can't even pronounce it. You can't even say it out oh loud gosh. or whatever. So <laughs> why I'm thinking God is not a, a he or a she, but when you're growing up in a society, you describe things the way you know it. Mm-hmm. And if you're growing up in a patriarchal society where men mm-hmm. rule and there's this supreme being who rules over everything and you're a man, of course, you're going to make him male. Exactly. OK, that's fine. And I get where you're saying. I'm Even not though that's that arbitrary fact. and it means nothing, and he, it, you know, that, that's, that's what we're I'm saying. saying. Like we're trying what to you're say. saying, but I'm saying that it is confirmed that God is male. <laughs> Who when that? Jesus said, Jesus, when no, Jesus I'm, said, no, that's not what we're saying at all, Alexis. That's, that's what no, we're joy, now Joy is saying that we've talked about the old testament so she's saying because god ref- or jesus referred to god um, as a father then that confirmed that confirms he whatever you think was you're, th- you're, t- you're whatever questions you have about whether god is male or female it is confirmed when jesus says i am doing this for my father that my father sent me down to um die for your sins and for and to that, I just say that Jesus came into an environment in a society where God was considered a man and the father, so he yeah. referred to that. And he wouldn't refer to God as a mother because then that wouldn't sound Because right. he can't and refer then to he him can't as a refer, mother. No, How can no, you I'm refer saying, to that's God as a mother? No, he didn't refer not, to God not. as a mother because then it would open a whole can of worms. And he didn't refer to God as just God or whatever because they, they knew him as a a male and they want jesus wanted to make god personal to everybody so that's where god the father thing came from but when it all boils down to it god is a spirit in a being and there he's not a male or female or it is not Tr- no god's the trinity so it's three and one so it is there right it's they not it god is they um who to whoever's listening out here <laughs> Now this is a good conversation. Joy is don't clearly talk about outnumbered, right. and <laughs> nobody is willing to sit and listen to what she has to say. We're deconstructing. I just heard what you say. And We're I, deconstructing Joy's views, and no, you're not deconstructing because Joy knows what Joy believes in, honey. No, that's what I'm saying though. Like that's what you believe, and then so now we're we're saying something different, and it like it hurts because no, it we're doesn't. Going against but, it. No, no, what hurts is that you won't listen to what I'm saying because I'm saying I get what you're saying, and if any and if any other, if we were talking about anything else, I would agree with you. Mm-hmm. But what I'm saying is that because. Regardless of whether or not you had a a thought about what in the Old Testament, whether or not Jesus, what God was a male or female, that Old Testament, according if you are religious, the or Mm -hmm. the Old Testament is not what you're supposed to follow. You supposed to follow the New Testament. Am I right or am I wrong over here? It depends Mm. what denomination. Ah, okay, okay. Well. That's what I was taught. That yeah. that's what's in the Bible. I mean, I don't know what uh, any uh, anybody else is reading, but it mm-hmm. says this. Y- this is the testament of the new or whatever it says. It says something. You know how to- now since we blame Eve, how mm-hmm. come? As in we, as in society, blame Eve. Going back to where we were supposed to be in the beginning. Um, <laughs> how come nobody ever? 
thinks about Adam because uh-huh. he accepted the apple right from Eve. Mm-hmm. So does if if women are temptress and teases and manipulative, does that mean men are weak that they have no willpower when it comes to a woman? Even no. if God says don't do it because a woman said it, I'm gonna do it. That's what I'm. That's where I think that's where the temptress thing comes from. It's like they put it all the blame all on the woman when it's pretty much in reality the man just doesn't have self control or willpower. And uh, all he, all Adam had to do was say nope. They Jared didn't put say that apple Eve down. was Throw like the apple shoving the the fruit down his throat. No, he had the, he had the the option to say yes or no, but he and said to, and for yes. her to throw the apple back up, <laughs> right? So I mean, it's it's both. But of that's them. what I'm saying. It's, both it's it, it both it's both ways. Yeah. Now, when I know some people. Um, as far as being teases and whatnot, I know some people say that in some religions that um, if you cover up, um, that means you won't be teasing. Like, in, like even no. in my church, sometimes they uh-huh. they say, oh, your, your shorts are too short. I'm like, what? I just got out of tennis practice. Calm right, down. Right, right. But regardless, I think, like, when Muslim women cover up their bodies by wearing, by not wearing fitted pants mm-hmm. and um wearing the hijabs over their head mm-hmm. it's not because they're ashamed you know what i mean it's yeah. because they're proud and they are covering themselves up now just because th- another woman who's the opposite who's not a muslim and living in america doesn't cover up their bodies mm-hmm. that doesn't mean that they're that they should have anything to feel ashamed about you know what i mean right no party should be ashamed. no party should be ashamed when a muslim co- a co- woman covers up mm-hmm. what her body and covers up her face it's because she takes pride in her body right and, and yeah, yeah. It's, according it's to, according, to it. yeah. according to their religion yeah yeah it's because she's taking pride in her body mm-hmm. now when a non-Muslim doesn't cover up. It's because of the same thing. If if I show my legs, that's because I take pride in my legs and I like them. Mm-hmm. I worked out to get these legs. Let me show them off. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh-huh. It's that's not being a tease, and f- for either religion, what mm-hmm. is I call it? What I don't call a tease a, a tease. I don't even think that's the correct word for what I'm about to say. Mm-hmm. But for some women. Who walk around in shorts that don't hang got no business walking around. If you a size twelve and you wearing a size eight, darling, cover it up. Mm, I'm gonna that's say just, no to that. I, I, that's just my fa- <laughs> and that's that's not a tease or whatever. That's my fashion tip because it doesn't look right. Mm-hmm. I'm not I'm a size fourteen, mm-hmm. but I'm not gonna squeeze into a size eight. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because one for one, I'm cur- cutting off my circulation. The my 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 rolls are hanging out of the uh uh the jeans uh-huh. and I'm not making myself look appealing. You know what I mean? Who cares? Mm-hmm. And then I'm gonna be upset that someone's talking about me, but I'm the one who chose to wear this outfit. So that's a side note. I guess I got off topic too. Wait, what 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 we talking about? Teasing, teasing. Yeah, women look, and let teasing. me let me say because I'm tired of these these church people going around and looking at women who wear short skirts and who wear short you know like crop tops and stuff like that Mm -hmm. i'm so tired of seeing that on my facebook like i have this one woman on my facebook all she posts is if these if this girl is not wearing a muumuu then she gonna repost it and she's gonna post these girls they're just so bad they out here wearing blah 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 and that kind of plays into rape culture like this is like so off topic but it plays into (laughs) rape culture because it's like these women who are wearing short skirts you have these church people are like oh well this is the reason why she's being raped and this is the reason why no one respects her and this is the reason why blah 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 and like it's not even like that like let people live let them wear let them have their belly hanging out yeah that's what i'm saying no (laughs) you just said if somebody is wearing clothes that are too tight for them they need to get them no, what together. I said, what I said that is that <laughs> w- when no matter what religion you're talking about, whatever way you take pride in your body, that's the way you well, take pride I in your take, body, and it's nothing to be about, ashamed if about. If I take pride in my body by by wearing a size eight, if I'm a size twenty four, like that's me showing off my belly and me like being happy about who my where my body is and what state it's in. Like it's nothing that I do to offend anyone. It's like it's my fat belly. If I want to show my fat belly, then so be it. That's quite fine. But what I'm saying is, 
I that was a side note. It's an aside. Right. Tip. It's an aside, like a like a quick fashion tip uh-huh. for me <laughs> because when I when I see somebody. I'm, I really don't care, you know, mm-hmm. what you wear. But if you're th- going to then talk to me about somebody talking about you and you're upset over the comments that people make, you brought that upon yourself. No, because that's something that's that you chose to do. That's fat phobia. That is literally fat phobia. Okay, that's for the next topic. Anyway. <laughs> it is, but, like, that's literally fat phobia. No, I don't think so. I think like, if you're making fun of someone, but like, it, it, you don't bring anything up on yourself. I'm not saying you did. I'm saying you don't bring things up on yourself. Just like you, by you wearing do. a short skirt, you, you don't bring a rapist. Just no, because you, you have a nice TV, you don't bring a thief uh, into your house. Let me ask you like, something, that doesn't KT. happen. No, 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 no. I don't want to talk to KT. It <laughs> <laughs> doesn't Gabby, happen. let me ask you a question. Uh-huh. What size shoe are you? Uh, seven and a half. So you're a seven and a half. When you go into when you go to into a store, mm-hmm. and you really want those shoes, whatever kind of shoes you want, mm-hmm. and they only have a size four, but you buy them and you want them, so you squeeze your feet oh, into no. them. Oh no! Now, when you wear them and your foot begins to act up, it aches. Mm-hmm. You're cramping your foot, so it's it's cutting it's uh but that cutting doesn't off your happen when you're just showing your belly. Can Ooh, I don't can shush I, me? Can I don't can I continue, me. please? Y'all stop don't interrupting each other. Because I'm about just say, saying, I like, like that quietly. doesn't matter. <laughs> like why does it matter? <laughs> someone's let, belly's let out. Joy finish. Oh, she was making a point. Finish, Joy. I feel so defeated now. Finish your point, because I, I was trying. My to point out what was that if you wear a size seven and you fit into it and you get shoes that are a size four and a half, Mm -hmm. it is your fault. If your feet are hurting, it's your fault. If you have to go to the doctor now to get, to get like, you know what I'm saying? It's your fault that your feet are messed up. I mean, I get that part, but, and I, I, I wouldn't say to somebody who had worn some too tight shorts, don't be mad if somebody makes fun of you. No, no, but that's not it what I'm is saying. To be expected. That's what I'm saying. You if have you, to be com- in- if you're confident enough to like when I wear something, and I know, and I know if it's a little form fitting, and I know my belly will jiggle a little bit. That's okay with me because I like to dress on me, and I think it's cute. Uh-huh. So whatever somebody has to say about me, I brush off. I'm not offended by it. But if I'm going to get offended, why would I put myself in a situation? Where you where I know I'm and I'm gonna get offended. It's just like I'm asking for trouble. It's like walking across the street doing five o'clock rush hour. You asking to get hit. No, I can I can see I can see some. And that was saying. just I, a, I didn't mean for it to go this yeah, far. Yeah. It uh-huh. was just a side no, it was like it was supposed to be a joke to to soften the topic that we were supposed to be discussing. I am sorry if I offended anybody. All right. Do you hear me, Katie? <laughs> I'm not talking on the podcast any longer. <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> the Joy and Gabby show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, women in the household. Most people who don't understand Christianity, even people who do understand it, and that was me before I heard my preacher slash pastor, whatever you want to call him, do his thing Mm -hmm. now he said that um people have a misconception about christianity and women and the household that women are supposed to be submissive and um weak towards men Mm -hmm. and he said and he said and many of the uh the misconception comes from the church he said i have heard a man say to his wife who's supposed to be a christian mine well, well, I have heard mm-hmm. a man say who to his wife, stay in your place. Like, what? Mm-hmm. And I'm so glad that my preacher slash pastor, whatever you want to call him, say that while we're on the subject of male and female households, mm-hmm. males, the husband, is supposed to be a servant to his wife. Mm. Yes. I was like, what? I ain't never heard that before. Let what? me stop and listen. <laughs> Look, I was on my phone and I was like, mm-hmm. Head shot up. I said, "What? Let me stop and listen." Because I, when he said the title, 
when he said the title the family home i was like oh god we're gonna talk about how i'm supposed to be doing this yes i know so yes okay daddy uh-huh. you know i thought <laughs> that's what i was gonna be doing yeah like but he said the perception is often made in christianity that women are weaker than man since it is in the bible that men are the head of the household now my preacher, pastor, whatever you want to call him, said that the man is a servant to his wife and that to serve the wife, you a husband is to serve the wife the way God serves his people. That if a husband is honoring, loving, and being true to the wife, then a wife should have no problem submitting to her husband because as a husband, if I'm, if I'm the husband, Mm-hmm. And if I'm the husband and I'm serving you and I'm doing what and I'm treating you like God treats me, treats his people, mm-hmm. then I'm going to ask and say, hey, baby, what you think about that? Or, OK, now nah, this is not good for my wife, but not good for my family. I'm going to make the decisions that are best for us. Mm-hmm. And if they're do- and if a husband is doing that, then there's no problem why why a wife should not submit what do you mean when you say submit that's what i said i was i knew somebody was gonna ask me that Mm -hmm. now there's a difference between being submissive and to submit as in going to submit to your husband to submissive is to conform to an authority or will of another to meekly be obedient or passive okay now, to submit means to give power over to another. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. That means it should be a beautiful thing between a husband and a wife that I love my husband so much and I trust him with my life so much that I give him the power mm-hmm. in the household. But as a servant to me, Mm-hmm. He serves me and loves me so much, like God loves his children, that he gives me my power back. Huh. How does he... Because, does he's, like? because he serves you. Okay. So he's at basically... Okay, What when a servant serves a king, who's in control? The king, okay. right? Yeah. And if a servant... And if a husband is supposed to be serving to the wife then that means the wife is in control, right? Yeah. Now, if I'm in control, I'm going to give my power over to him and vice versa. So we are basically, it's a a power exchange. Basically, it means that we are on equal ground. Yeah. Okay. Um, Let's see how would I think about that. Okay, I, I think I heard something like that. Uh, what's the lady, Judge Lynn Toller on uh, Divorce Court? Oh, that's my show. <laughs> she said something like that. Um, she was like, if my husband is respectful and loving and kind and he does this and, do, and does that, I have no no problem, uh, you know, submitting to him or whatever. Um, I like the way your your pastor put it. I mean, after he kind of defined everything and explained what he meant. But let's see. If I don't think majority of people don't see it that way, and because I don't know of how the word submit, people, I don't know how we can get people to to see it that way. But even then, like, what is what does God say to the man? Man, do what to your wife? Serve your wife. Well, I was so into my sermon that when I thought I was taking notes, I really wasn't taking notes, and uh-huh. I don't know what verse, what passage, what you know, book it's found in. But He said. Wait, no, 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 I know. Man, love love your wives as as Christ loved the church. Exactly. And if yeah. a man is loving me like Christ loved me, I'm good. If he's going to serve me and be my servant and do the things that I need, I have no problem saying, well, you make the decisions because you're going to do what I, when I say make the decisions, I'm just saying put, to put in lamest terms, you know what I mean? I'm going to say, hey, okay, you get the power. But now he's saying, oh, okay, since you've given it to me, I'm going to serve you and give your power back to you because we are equals in this. But folks can say that's reaching because when it says love, love your wife as Christ loved the church, Christ does serve us, but 
in the in the in the long run he is the one that we following and stuff like that yeah. so it's not really a power <laughs> exchange in in that in that sense and i can see that's why people get confused if it just said love your wife and serve her or whatever i would understand but because it says uh love your wife it's christ loves the church that means you're still in control but you will take care of her or whatever and then the wife you just have to submit Okay, but what? No. But what I'm saying is that he didn't. He didn't use the verse you're talking about. He said. He said. He quoted something from the Bible that says, mm-hmm. "Men, you are a servant to your husbands. You are a servant to your wife." Uh-huh. Okay. I don't know what passage. Oh, I should have been prepared, and I don't know what it is. It should. It should automatically be on evil level. Regardless evil? of what, like evil, like not evil, even. but even, okay. everyone should be even, <laughs> like regardless of what anybody else says, like you should already go into that, to that, like Gabby was saying, like, it's not really a power exchange at the end of the day, like that person is still making all the decisions, not you. And even though they're doing it in your best interest, they're still like, that's kind of like, oh, I just thought of something like my mom. She always thought she was doing things in my best interest, but she's not me. So she was still making the decisions for me. And even though we were even and we were equals in this world, she was still making the the decisions for me and for what I needed to do. So at the end of the day, I wasn't making any decisions for myself and I wasn't there to to say, hey, this is what I want and what I think is right. Well, and I can agree that relationships, especially not even like involving God or anything like that, like relationships should be where you are going back and forth. Like this person should like, no, it shouldn't even be back and forth. It should be like you're both have the same power all the time. 100 percent. But I mean, in, in the relationship, this is the thing, like in relationships, people come in with different personalities. True. Just because you're a man doesn't mean you're going to want to be dominant and you're going to yeah. want to make all decisions. Just because you're a woman doesn't mean you're going to just accept it. You and might be in- a leader or whatever. So, but y'all to gender roles are my whole reason for bringing this to the podcast. No, but it's about gender roles. Like, that's a, this is no, still just part a, of it. No, it's just a discussion. But what I was going to say was... Let me put my shades on. It can't even be 50-50 because a lot of times in relationships, like I said, you may have somebody that's just sub- submiss- submissive by default. Like, that's their personality. Like and me. You can like, have somebody I'm so that's submissive like, in my submissive relationship. submissive is the one or thing. Or not submissive or just submits by default. Like, that's their personality. Yeah, that's They're me. just like, oh anything goes Like, in relationships, do you, do that's you, me. But okay, like podcast people, world, this is what happens when you speak said, to Bricks like, Walls. Nobody that's letting nothing in. Like, I nobody's just, comment. I just, nobody's I commenting on what I just said. They're I did co- comment you're on You're talking what you about said. gender roles and whatever. Is that the, not about relationships? No, but I was asking, what do you all think about what the pastor said? I, just, I literally just, we told literally you what just I said that. I told you what I thought. Literally. I don't think you did. But like, I, I don't what care. I said? Like, like I, I said. said I said, I agree with what your pastor said after he explained it and everything. And I think that if it was put into effect that, I mean, people people might be okay with it. But I did think in reality, like I said, people have different personalities and that might not work for everybody. And what if you're with, what if you're with somebody and they don't treat you right? Do you still have to submit? What because if that's what happens, and this and is reality. This isn't just like some hypothetical situation. But that's what okay. I get what you're saying. I get what you all are saying. I'm not going to argue the point. All I would like to know, let the podcast world know, okay, is that what I said. A man is a servant. That's an equal exchange because he's serving the woman, and the woman is giving the power to him and she's giving it back and it's an equal thing it's it's not what is perceived is what i'm saying right and we're not going against that we're that's going all with I what your podcast saying. world to know <laughs> that's what we're going we're with we're talking it out joy <laughs> we're is talking bowing out. out until the next question <laughs> that's it I mean, did like you have that's, you want to say I mean, re- like like we were saying like we agree with what he said that yeah 
a relationship should be equal, but at the end of the day, like, you have to come back to reality and be like, hey, there's some messed up situations that are going on in this world, and it doesn't always equal out like that. Okay, yeah, I got you. Now, this is the topic you all wanted to discuss for so long, and nobody could wait for gender roles. <clears throat> in most religions, men are given a role, and women are given a role. Now, men tend to take on the leadership roles and are often praised and recognized for what they do in churches, nationally, and even on a global level. Now, women traditionally tend to take backseat roles and help in the classroom or cook or do the or cook for the church or do like organized trips or whatnot. Mm-hmm. Now, for people both inside of religion and outside of the church or religion, whatever you want to say. Do gender roles transfer? And if they do, is it a bad thing or not? Do gender roles transfer? Yes, from religion to the to the to outside society. Of course, uh, especially in America, uh, where Christianity Christi- is. Where, the yeah, Christianity is the dominant uh, religion, and people who that that aren't even Christian still adopt Christian uh, principles or whatever. So, yeah, I, I think that's definitely, especially. Like in the 50s and 60s, you know, now it's kind of become looser and people are like, well, I don't have to be a housewife. I can work or whatever. But it's still ingrained in us still, I think. Yeah. Because of Christianity and in other cultures as well. What about you, Katie? You've had so much to say. Nothing. Oh, now you don't have anything to say. Go ahead. Nope. It's going to be a good podcast. I'm going to sit here. Until you have something to say. I'll keep going. Um, in, in the household, like we said, um, the, male, the man is usually the head, and, and he gets the, the leadership positions in the churches and stuff, and the woman gets, like, the homely positions in the church. <laughs> Let's talk about, um, because in our previous episode, the, the Toxic Family Ankh Memes and Child Support episode, we talked about how... Um, you can be a deadbeat dad and be a deacon at a church. Let's talk about how different sins that is for a mother are, huh? Oh, I'm sorry, I I cut you off. Go ahead. Uh, we're talking about how different sins are confronted in the church um, between different different genders. Like if a wife, if a woman is caught in adultery, how she is treated, or if a man is caught watching porn or something how he's treated or whatever i I think it's a discrepancy especially it with is. um infidelity because usually it's the man let's and if a honest. man cheats then he can then he's okay they he's all right they'll whatever. pray for yeah. him they'll they'll he's going through something right now he it must really be a struggle yeah or they now, I'm talking about a man. I'm not talking about a preacher. That's, that's no. the, those oh, yeah, are two different, different things. Yeah. Two different things. Now, if a man preach in the church, oh, he must be going through something. His wife is so and so, so blah 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 blah. But if the woman cheats, mm-hmm. <laughs> they gonna they, they gonna better look at the church. Man. They, they 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 not not just cheat. Let me tell you something. I had a. Um, a previous preacher, mm-hmm. a previous pastor. I hate saying that. It sounds so southern. Say like preacher. <laughs> <laughs> a previous preacher, um, who I don't know what went down, but something went down, and he, I think he was cheating on his wife, mm-hmm. and saying that he was going fishing, mm. and the wife was like crazy or something. Apparently, when I when I say crazy, I mean. Like he had drove her crazy or something, uh-huh. like asking, "Okay, is he here? Is he there?" Is blah blah blah. Um, and all I know is that he got fired mm-hmm. for for cheating on his wife. Uh-huh. But all anybody can remember is that the wife was crazy. Mm-hmm. Heaven That's forbid it. the wife is upset that her husband is out there cheating. Like is. Or heaven forbid, this is this also happened, and um, I've seen this happen not in my church, mm-hmm. but um, I've seen this happen where a man cheats on a woman. They're mm-hmm. still married. The woman cheats on the man, and she catches all. Oh yeah, get out for oh, it. Yeah. Like she catches. 
hand baskets of hay. Oh yeah, I'm trying mm-hmm. to stop, you know. What I'm yeah, saying. yeah. <laughs> I know. And something else I've noticed is like even when the man cheats, they'll they'll somehow blame think, the but, woman. Yeah, put it on the woman. Like, oh well, well she, she must not been doing her job at home. Right. Like, she what's her job? And she must have been there. She probably won't give him what he want. Like, what in the world? And the wife have the nerve. The man didn't do nothing. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, podcast world. Why am I saying that so much today? But Gabby just said, she just put her arm up in the air like she really could understand. I can't. <laughs> like, they, they will jump through hoops to defend these men, men and women. Will jump over hoops to defend these men, men but, but when nobody the women do defends wrong, the women, never, and it's who never. and who causes the most drama is the women who tear, mm-hmm. especially uh, who, women who tear each other apart. And for that reason, because women and men jump to defend men, I think that's the reason why we have why we as in African American women have so many of of our African American men in jail. That's a different topic. I'm not gonna get on that. Well, about, yeah, but, we mm-hmm. that. Is that? What? What? Katie, you you got anything to add? Nothing. Okay. Well, Pouting. Uh, yeah. I I do see that discrepancy, <laughs> and I've seen it. I'm not gonna tell. I'm not even gonna say anything else. But I have seen <laughs> the difference, and it's it's telling. It's very telling. Um. Let me see. Is there any? Oh, other? I have something. Okay. A teacher. Um, Minnesota or whatever I don't know where but they did a part of a study mm-hmm. about gender and how women and how t- and how people t- treat boys over girls mm-hmm. even in the classrooms at 9 and 10 they tr- teachers without even knowing it treat the boys differently than girls like oh, the yeah. teacher was helping the boy Mm-hmm. And saying no, 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 it's it's over here. That this is that, and this is that. She showed him. She sh- took the time to show them yeah. after she had already taught the whole class how to do it. She yeah. showed two or three boys individually. Mm-hmm. Now, when the girls asked how to do it, she said, "I'm not going to tell you again. You ought to know this." Mm-mm. And she said that she didn't even realize that that's what she was doing. That's what you what they call it unconscious bias. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Unconsciously, girls are supposed to be smarter than boys, so they the boys need all the help. Right, and that's why that's how we baby these boys, and they turn to men. Like you said, that's how that's how a lot of problems and stuff happen, and it doesn't get addressed after it comes out or after they've gotten in trouble. And that's then why it's like, I be well, on the people that I love, the boys that I watch. They could be doing homework every night, even if they don't have none. Good. Off topic, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, did you have? Any, was there anything else? Or I know those are. I only had three questions, y'all. It just took that long to get. <laughs> and that's how we do it on talking out. You uh, know, you, everyone's come to expect that, and they love it. I guess so, so. Um. Yes, I know. I guess nobody has any closing remarks because I think we pretty much we pretty much said. Uh, and I'm sorry if I discussed. offended anybody. That's my reclo- uh, closing remark. I'm really sorry, KT. Don't be sorry to me. Be sorry to the people you're oppressing. <laughs> the shade. Let me put my shades back on, y'all. Put on the shades for the, the shade. shade. The shade for the shades. Okay. All right, but while we're talking about shade, I know you can find some real good books on shady things that have happened in America. And... Uh, about religion and gender and feminism and all this stuff. There's this place called audibletrial.com slash talk it out. You get on there. Let me tell you something. They got everything. You have over 1,800 audio books. You can just search and scroll and scroll and scroll. You got a 30-day free trial where you can listen to all the audio books. All the audio books that you want, <laughs> and then download one free audio book um, for your own keeping. So yeah, audibletrial.com slash talk it out and check it out and let us know what you're reading. Also, before we go, there are some people I would like to shout out who have hit us up and and really been shouting us out. One of them is Woke with Kids, who Woke with Kids, who actually introduced us to this cool cat uh, named Carl. And he's been hitting us up all week. 
Uh, thank you, Vocal Kids. We love your podcast, obviously. Um, the next one thank is you, Conversation Con Artists, who uh, we've also been having a good discussion with on, on SoundCloud. And um, the Real Raw Podcast, The Wind Down, The John Effect, The John Effect Always, Let Me Tell You Something, just everybody, and anyone we, we didn't got some name. Issues. We got some issues. And, and any other ones we didn't name, uh, 2 1 Cool Podcast. We love you. Thank you all for your support and love. And social media facebook.com slash talk it out podcast instagram.com slash talk it out podcast facebook.com slash talk it out podcast hit us up on all those um social media accounts we love to keep the conversation going and we love to hear feedback so yeah this is joy and gabby and this is talk it out talk it out talk it out talk it out